let's change gears a little bit. Kenyan giants or former giants, I just don't know how to describe them because lately they're not challenging for the title, but I'm talking of Steve Shitera's FC <laughs> Leopards who are marking six decades or 60 years of existence and they are rolling out a number of activities to mark that. Take a look at some of them. <laughs> Now we are looking at scenarios whereby the club has won the league 13 times, has won the Eastern Central five times. We have not featured in Africa. So at 60, it is a time for reflection. We want the legends to reflect. They really, they really played their part. We want the fans to reflect. We want officials. We are with our patron here, and when everybody reflects, we need to put in strike. We need to put in place structures that now will take us. That is Dan Shikanda, the club boss or chairman or president. Ter, I'll start with you. This is a team you supported for so long before you shifted to homeboys. But as Leopard so Ingwe marks 60 years uh, anniversary, how is the picture? Is there any reason to smile? Uh, in the times that have been alive, I don't think there is a reason to smile. And this, I think, gives um, uh, FC lead leadership a, 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 a platform to, re to reflect and see what did our forefathers do. Uh, you see, I remember in history uh, the likes of uh, Mulamba, Mulamba, right? There is Mulamba and Mulama. Of yeah. course, Mulamba, the great. The great, mm -hmm. uh, Kadenge. So these are the names that will never be erased uh, on that FC Leopards uh, logo. And what I will urge uh, Chairman Dan Shikanda, uh, I think he has served his first term. He's into his second term. Now these are <laughs> politics as is here puts it. Don't look at it at the political side. Look at it at how you'll move the, uh, the club forward. And... Um, uh, going by what he has stipulated, as he did when he was seeking votes, I think he has a good plan on paper. But what I would urge uh, Dan Shikanda is actualize your actualize. plan. It's, it's here, real quick, good plan on paper, as Shitera says, but it's not being actualized. 60 years after independence, even the basics, leopards can't uh, get right. I'm talking of even a uh, record. Today, if you are to do history on leopards, you would even struggle to get the, 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 the right... Uh, uh, the right records. We are talking of clubhouse where this actually should be should be safeguarded. We are talking of a basic training facility. It's not there. 60 years after independence and 60 years here they are making anniversary. Probably that point, uh, points down to the leadership within club level. What do you think need to change at Leopards as they head to the next uh, decade? Of course leadership has been a problem at uh, AFC Leopards for a long time. It explains why since 1996 nothing to show uh, in, when it comes to the Premier League and uh, like uh, 90, uh, 98, sorry, and uh, really uh, Rachier, Ambrose Rachier of Gormaya always says that uh, if you fail in everything else, then <laughs> win, the title. win the titles. <laughs> but, but let me say this uh, real quick, Swila. Uh, the AFC Leopards leadership there that they met the president, the Dr. William Ruto, and one of the discussions at the table was about the land at Kasarani. And I've always been asking questions regarding Gormai and the FC Leopards. And I ask the question, we have very able men in charge of those clubs. Why is it a puzzle all the time about this land? Because that land answers the question of the club I was talking about and the stadium. This time round, the president has told uh, Waziri Ababu Namwamba, now it is within your mandate. I've given you this charge. Lead the process of getting this uh, title deed, uh, issue uh, settled. And I want to believe this time around is going to be settled because if there is no land for a club, no a stadium, no clubhouse, 60 years later, there's nothing to celebrate. And nothing to celebrate. We'll be coming to Wakili shortly uh, uh, on this, but let's go back.
to the scoreboard where Zita Jimoi has some interesting statistics regarding Leopards. Zita? Thank you so much, Swila. Again, I know the original name of FC Leopards was Ab Ab Abaluya Football Club and it was changed to African Football Club. It was f uh, founded in 12th March 1964. 60 years. I know we are going to celebrate the whole month with the Sikuti just to celebrate the 60 years that FC Leopards has been here giving us entertainment and representing us even in the international level. The club chairman is Dan Shikanda, head coach is Thomas Trisha, and again we just want to see how many honors uh, they have now. They have a league title that is 12 of them and then the FK Cup they have 10 of them, the Sekafa Cup they have five of them. I think the 1990, 19, 19, 19 teams sana compared to, to, to now because um, as you can see, the, the years when they won all those nini. Uh, CAF Championship, that is the best run in CAF. CAF Championship League in semis 1968. And the CAF Confederation Cup semis in 1985. That was, uh, um, that was uh, um, a very good run for them. 26 years, that is the failures. 26, 26 years without a league title ish. That is. Uh, that is the last they won in 1998. Lack of club ownership training venue, that is in 60 years now. Lack of club owners in stadium, that is 60 years now. I think they, I saw the, the leaders uh, uh, talking to who to, to our president. I hope this is one of the things that they were talking about, about the, uh, the club ownership, uh, the, what, the stadium ownership. And then lack of the club house. I hope these are the things they were talking about. So that is all about FC Leopards as we celebrate them as they turn 60 today happy birthday and happy anniversary to FC Leopards and this week we will be do giving you a little bit about FC and what they've done and what is going on there as we celebrate them at the 60. Back to you Sila. Ah, thank you Zita. Probably the motivation Leopards at 60 the blue color everybody's donning it from Zita to <laughs> Isia but Wakili <laughs> we're talking about club management and uh, of course it's not very good. It's very messy from Gormaia down to the to the lowly ranked team in the second and third tier divisions. Probably from where you sit, what can the government do in terms of legislation to ensure this order in club management? Well, see, in terms of management, mm -hmm. it's a very multifaceted issue because you see when you if the government is to involve itself in club management, we will be going towards the. We'll be going towards. We're going near near to the realms of government interference. However, we can see, for example, there is talk in. If you go to the UK, they want to have an independent regulator for all football teams. Now, I've always been of the view that it doesn't matter what corporate structure a club uses because we, we see even modest circles, mm -hmm. we see even modest charmers, but they're able to manage their affairs properly. Mm -hmm. So in my opinion, the biggest letdown in club management usually has to start with the members, the fans who are members of the club because it is they who are complicit when money is being lost and yet they are the ones who elect these people into office. It is they who are complicit in allowing these people to misappropriate their funds. So I'm, I've always been of the field of the opinion that it is the clubs themselves, it is down to the individuals and the members to ensure that the clubs are run properly. Mm -hmm. Because when we start giving power to the government to start interfering in these clubs, mm -hmm then essentially we are telling the government to run football on our behalf. Mm -hmm. Yet the government is supposed to be more or less like an, mm -hmm. a regulator of sorts. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, now at this point we want to take a short commercial break, but first we are asking you about the question of the day and do you think, what do you think needs to be done to ensure that the FKF polls are free and fair for all the parties? So we want to hear your thoughts. Text us to 2422, that's the SMS line, and of course, you can also X us at Citizen TV Kenya at Isaac Swiller, and of course, we'll be sampling some of them at the tail end 
of this program. Remember, you can also keep the conversation going using the hashtag Sporty Monday. When we return, you will be hearing the insights of one, His Excellency British High Commissioner to Kenya, Neil Wigan. You don't want to miss that. What about the EPL, Kenya, Britain ties? That's coming shortly after the break, including the Bundesliga analysis and the Champions League. So stay tuned.